So d discharging a patient should be sort of a last resort. That's typically not the first line of, um, of attack when something goes wrong. So they're, one of the things that physicians often try to do is explain to patients the various consequences of not adhering to particular kinds of um, agreements. And so one possibility is, for example, a, a physician will say, I can no longer prescribe certain medications for you, but we can continue to treat your pain in these other ways. So discharging a patient entirely from a practice is often not the first um, resort and shouldn't be in general um, because that does it can involve abandonment of a patient especially a patient who still does need treatment um, so for the for that from that perspective it's, it's important to not sort of resort to discharging patients immediately the other problem is that if you discharge a patient it's not likely to solve the problem right they may the same cycle may start over somewhere else and so it'd be better to at least attempt to address the issues within the practice, though it certainly may involve um, no longer prescribing certain controlled substances and, and pursuing treatment in other ways.